G'day everyone and welcome back to Our Paranormal World. It's paranormal news time. July has had some really interesting stories, including a child who reinvigorated a missing persons case with a strange sighting and Playboy playmate Holly Madison revealing her spooky experiences in the Playboy Mansion. So let's have a look at July in Paranormal News. Missing Person Vision In late July, it was reported that a California sheriff had investigated a reported ghostly sighting in the Madeira County Mountains. Jake and Victoria Gorba took their three kids up to Shut Eye Peak for some four-wheel driving fun. As they sat to eat their lunch, their three-year-old son, Caden, began speaking with someone, someone no one else could see. He pointed to a spot in the meadow and told his parents that there was a woman lying face down with her legs up in the air. He said, she needs our help, but she's dead and she's lying face down with her legs up and she can't talk to me, but she's over there. We need to go help her. When Victoria and Jake checked the area he'd indicated in the meadow, they couldn't find anything. But Caden was adamant that he was telling the truth. He even described the woman, saying she had on a black shirt with blue jeans and she had blue hair. They were so spooked by the incident that the family decided to go home early and when they did, they posted about the odd occurrence on Facebook. Victoria said they put it on Facebook to see if anyone knew anything which might add context to their son's bizarre sighting. They soon found out that Sandra Hughes had gone missing in the area in 2020 and her appearance is an uncanny match with Caden's description. Madeira County Sheriff Corporal Chris Williams saw the Facebook post and he contacted the family. They travelled back to the site with Jake and his son to investigate, but they found no new evidence. Williams has been on the missing persons case of Sandra Hughes since she was first reported missing, and the case remains open. If anyone does have any information relating to the case, contact the Madeira County Sheriff's Office. Park Bench Ghost an evening jogger in Singapore claims to have snapped an image of a ghost on a park bench. Nur Amira was jogging in Pasir Reis Park at around 9.40pm when she noticed what appeared to be a woman sitting on a bench staring out at the nearby river. She says she found this fairly strange because it was dark and there wasn't much of a view so she decided to snap a photo of what she thought was this strange behaviour. That's this photo here. On her return run through the park, which also happens to be the site of a local legend of being the hunting ground of vampiric spirits, she says she heard her name called when no one else was around, which creeped her out even more. When she got home, she uploaded the photo to social media and she and her friends went bonkers, surmising that this is a spirit. The proof of this, they say, is the fact that she has no legs. <sighs> there is so much wrong with this story. Anyone who knows me knows I'm not a fan of jogging, but I do understand that some people are. However, I do think if you're a woman who is clearly quite prone to seeing spooks around every corner, perhaps nighttime jogging through a haunted park isn't the best idea. I think we can all agree this is probably not a ghost. It's just the angle of the photo and the relative angle of the bench legs obscuring the actual legs of the sitting woman. Or she could have her legs tucked up under her. That's not that uncommon. Can you imagine this poor woman sitting on a bench, contemplating the futility of her life, and then her photo gets shared around social media because a bunch of bored people got a bit spooked. I don't know. I think even the three-year-old from the previous story can tell you that this isn't a ghost. If you disagree with me, that's okay. I'm not going to cry. Just let me know why you disagree down in the comments. 
the Playboy Mansion is haunted. Speaking of bored people, Playboy Playmate Holly Madison has recently revealed that she has had several spooky encounters within the Playboy Mansion. And perhaps the biggest shock there is that she's not even talking about serial creeper Hugh Hefner. She claims that while she was filming The Girls Next Door, she had an experience of seeing an apparition dressed in hot pink workout gear, which, as we all know, is the most common outfit for ghostly apparitions. Holly thought the woman was actually another playmate and followed her to the only door she could have used to exit, but that door led to a shallow closet. In another incident, Holly recalls that she and another playmate were scrapbooking. Terrifying. Oh, hang on, that's not the end of the story. Holly says she asked for a paranormal sign because seeing a woman walk into a closet and then disappear isn't clear enough. And she was shocked to find the TV turn on by itself with the volume at full blast. But Holly is no stranger to spooky occurrences and rarely gets scared, having heard disembodied voices and witnessing doors open and close on their own. Holly Madison is clearly one brave lady. After all, she was Hugh Hefner's wife for seven years. A new crop circle in Dorset. This crop circle turned up in a field in Dorset in the UK in July, but no one cares about crop circles anymore, do they? Remember when we used to think these pictographs were the aliens sending us some omniscient but altogether indecipherable message? Then we found out that it was really just some drunk dudes with planks and rope and far too much free time on their hands and everybody lost interest. But there are some diehard believers who still think that some of these crop circles could be the aliens trying to communicate with us using geometry, which, when you think about it, is probably the best evidence that they have never actually abducted anyone, because if they had, surely they'd know that most of us have no clue what geometry even is. Nice crop circle, though. Historian believes the Ark of the Covenant could be under a house in the UK. David Adkins is a respected historian and anthropologist, and he's on a mission to locate the famed treasures plundered by the Knights Templar during the Crusades. He has uncovered links to the Knights Templar and a property named Sinai Park in Burton in the UK, which is believed to have an enormous network of caverns and tunnels beneath its foundations. In fact, some speculation suggests that the site could sit atop caverns vast enough to hold Westminster Abbey. In the 1800s, researchers did attempt to explore a passageway under Sinai House, but fumes forced them to abandon the search. The cellar has remained bricked up ever since. It would appear that the history of the ownership of the estate does link back to a founding member of the Knights Templar, and the geographical location of the estate leads Adkins to speculate that Sinai House and its underlying caverns is worthy of further exploration in the name of this undiscovered treasure. And that is the Paranormal News for July. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.